All right, come to the stage up next. This guy, he does, he does, I don't know, so many goddamn shows. This guy is killing it in the comedy scene. Give it up for my friend, Paul Antonio. <laughs> Give it up for your host one more time, please. Give it up for John Brinkley. Yeah. You're just running it. I'm glad nobody sat up front. This was reserved for my family. I'm happy they didn't show up. This is terrible. Oh, man. I'm happy to be on this side of L.A. This is a better side of L.A. It's a clean side of L.A. It's not really. <laughs> but, you know, this is the part where people ride bikes for leisure, not because they got a DUI. It's really good, right? You know what's crazy? Sorry, I gotta interrupt for a second. I gotta interrupt. It's crazy. You right there. You actually look like my ex. Yeah, do you get that often? No? Now she's married with a baby. What kind of fucking idiot marries a baby? Right? That's what we're doing today. These are jokes. Oh, man. Uh, I'm from Pomona, California. Good, I got it right. <laughs> Hacky. No. <laughs> There's a lot of cholos in Pomona, right? My brother's a cholo. There's a lot of cholos in Pomona. But uh, recently I've noticed that they're becoming more gentrified. They're becoming more whitewashed. The other day I saw a cholo carrying a thermos. <laughs> now granted, it was still in the brown paper bag, but still. <laughs> carrying a thermos. And it was a hydro flask. It's like a hundred dollar thermos. <laughs> You don't buy a hundred dollar thermos for old English and orange juice. So I'd ask this dude, I said, sir, what is inside your thermos? He's like, oh bro, it's my kombucha. If it's one degree higher, one degree lower, it loses all of its nutritional values. My fact, that's a very health conscious cholo right there. They're gonna still wear chains. Cholos are gonna keep wearing chains, but at the end of the chains, there's gonna be like a crystal. <laughs> What's on the end of your chain, man? Oh, bro, it's my Alexandrite, huh? I charge it in the full moon and it allows me to focus my energy so I can stab the fool that's been selling on my corner. <laughs> too spiritual, too spiritual. The world's just not ready. You're not ready for an emotionally available cholo, sir. I'm sorry I gotta look at you, but you're wearing a gray sweatshirt with no logo. You fit the descriptions. <laughs> this is all targeted towards yours. Now, do you prefer Walmart or Target? Like, I could take a guess, but we'll see what he has to say. Walmart or Target? Walmart? Walmart? Your people. <laughs> La raza. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. How about you, boss? Walmart or Target? Walmart? Uh, two Walmarts. This is good. Let's keep it going. Walmart or Target? Target? Of course, dressed like that. How long have you known you were racist for? <laughs> is what I'm asking. Now, I like Walmart, I prefer Walmart, right? But it's for a different reason. It's because I'm like a Walmart 9 and like a Target 7. <laughs> so you could catch me just chilling in the back of Walmart, just acting like a hot chick at a bar, just posted up against the toilet paper. Peggy, who works there with her peg leg, comes over, do you need any help, sir? <laughs> no, I got it, it's guy's night here. Guy's not here at Walmart. Holy shit. I am Mexican. I've been Mexican my whole life. <laughs> what happens in the green room stays in the green room. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but I was Mexican a different way, right? My mom's from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. She's French Mexican. A lot of people in her family, blonde hair, green eyes. My dad is Moroccan Mexican from Africa, right? Dark. My, great, my grandmother, when she was young, she looked like Aretha Franklin. And then they made me just a normal brown guy. <laughs> Took white and black and made brown. They're like, this is what we're doing. Uh, but I, uh, let, well, let's, let's, you, sir. You, I can't tell if you shop at Walmart or Target. Probably one of the two. Um, how did you find out about sex? Like, where'd your sex education come from? <laughs> Asking the deep questions. I want you all to know each other by the end of the night. How'd you... <laughs> Windows 95? <laughs> ah, the long load is what we used to call it. 
wait for all them pixels and you bust the nut before you finally see the bush. That's what happens. Window 95. Oh, so you learn like online, right? Like an online sex ed course. That's good. <laughs> Not a sex course. I didn't. You didn't pay for the porn star master class on YouTube. You were like, we're going to do this shit fucking the old school way. Find out where to finger bang. But that's back in the day with a lot of bush. It's hard to know where shit goes. Uh, my grandma taught me about sex. Not by practice. <laughs> she taught me in theory. But like she taught me about sex. She was like an old school Mexican grandma. She's like into brujeria shit. It's like fucking witchcraft shit. So she didn't teach me the right way. For the longest time, I thought you couldn't get someone pregnant as long as you wrapped a rosary around your dick before you went in. <laughs> I thought in order to avoid all STDs, you just had to pour a little bit of the candle wax from the Virgin Mary candle you got at the dollar store. Just right there at the tip. She taught me that pozole cures chlamydia. And I was like, oh shit, that's fucking dope. No Mexicans here, that's all. <laughs> She says, don't use condoms, use chorizo casings. Uh, I know, it got too greasy. I couldn't handle, couldn't handle that smell. Oh my God, so that made dating weird. <laughs> Just bring out the sausage. Trust me, I need to use this. Abuelita told me. <laughs> dating, man. I didn't, I didn't know about the friend zone until it happened. It's kind of like herpes, <laughs> right? I just chose not to believe it and then it happened to me, right? But this girl with friends with me, right? She told me, I'm sorry, sir, you can stop crying now. <laughs> Didn't mean to make you emotional at the comedy show. She told me, she said, you're like a brother to me. And I was like, ah, oh, don't make me more horny. <laughs> oh, we'll get off dating. Um, I was a musician for the longest time. I was a musician. I was uh, the brass principal of uh, one of the top youth orchestras in Southern California. Hey. <laughs> Nobody cares. But then I went to this, exactly, because then I went to this. That's like dropping out of college to give like hand jobs behind the laundromat. <laughs> it's like being Aaron Rodgers and going from Olivia Munn to Danica Patrick. What the fuck did you do, bro? You guys didn't hear about that? Breaking news, spoiler alert. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like something Aziz did. See, I don't want to go specific because everybody's sore about that. You guys sore about Aziz? Eh, indifferent. <laughs> I, like, I like the indifferent table over here. Eh, people rape. It happens. That's funny. You really thought, though, that like a dude whose catchphrase was fucking treat yourself didn't fucking treat himself whenever he was fucking around those chicks? Sorry, I didn't mean to get political. <laughs> uh, where are my couples? Couples here tonight? Have Everybody just looks single oh, over there. That's cool. Come. Liars. All right, come. Feel the tension from over here. There's a couple over here? Who's a couple? You and... Okay, I was going to say, you need a second person to be a couple. I'm a couple, bro. I got enough for both people. Right here. Uh, do you guys have, like, a, a song? Like, they, they use, like, a couple song? You do? Oh, exciting. All right. What's your couple song? Ooh, Baby, Baby? Like the uh, Smokey Robinson? Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, that was a hard song to fuck to. Ooh, baby, baby. I did you wrong. No, that's fucking terrible. That's, that's slow. Pick it up. Come on. Mas, mas rápido. <laughs> She's like, this is taking forever. I got shit to do. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's good for training longevity. Like, that's good. You don't want to fucking wake up. Like, right away. It's good. You don't want to bring the speed in it. Let's go slow. That's good. I like that song. It's too slow. Pick it up. Any other couples here? There's a couple at this table. There's guys and girls, and there's no couples at this table. Let's find out what's going on over here. All right, who's related? <laughs> Do you guys know each other? Okay. How? <laughs> you know each other. You're a couple. I don't believe that. You guys are sitting too far apart to be a couple. 
Unless you're like 10 years in, then that's the right distance <laughs> to be sitting. Are you guys really a couple or are you just, uh, you are? Uh, do you guys have a couple of songs? You don't have a couple of songs? You just fuck the silence? <laughs> the homeless people singing outside, invite them in, they're homeless, you can bring them in and give them a home. Come on, be PC, be about it. No, I'm joking. You kind of look like that, dude. Kind of look like the dude that just stares deep into her eyes as you're thrusting with no sounds happening. You will remember. What's your name? <laughs> you don't know if you want to. I don't know if I want to tell you, Ethan. <laughs> you're, we you're way too eager for that bullshit. <laughs> You're like every chick on Tinder. I don't know if I want to sleep with you. Come on, let's do it tonight. <laughs> Movie theater, hand job, it's on. Oh, uh, I had a song with my ex. She chose it though. The song was Beat the Pussy Up by Love Rants. <laughs> I beat the pussy up. <laughs> She's like, I'll pay with our song. But ever since we broke up, I stopped beating the pussy up. Because I no longer believe in violence against women why I like that joke. It assumes that at one point, I believed in violence against women. <laughs> Too far. We don't do it here. All right. You guys want a dark joke? Is that fine? Dark? I know it's not an urban room, but hey, no, sure. <laughs> racism. <laughs> Good old-fashioned racism. Uh, all right. I was watching a commercial for an IUD. Ooh, ooh, baby. Do you know what an IUD is? You don't know what an IUD is? You don't know either? And there's not a train of babies just following you around everywhere you go. <laughs> Sweatshirt. IUD. Birth control. Ding, ding, ding. He gets a prize. <laughs> Give it up for a sweatshirt. He may buy his sweatshirts for $7 at Walmart, but he's got his education down. Did you buy it at Walmart? <laughs> Fucking score. Come on now. Give me some for that shit. I am a psychic. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I got the same one. <laughs> that's, like, that's why. I'm, I was watching a commercial for an IUD. It said that IUDs are 99% effective. That means that 99% of the time they will prevent pregnancy. The other 1% normally results in severe health complications for the mother and the child, normally resulting in a miscarriage. If the baby's lucky enough to be born, it will normally continue those health problems and then die soon after. So I was thinking, can't we just consider that 100% effective? Because, like, it may not prevent the pregnancy, but eventually it'll get the job done, right? Oh, imaginary baby dying. All right, all right I'm going to tell you one more joke, then I'm getting out of here. Did you guys have fun? You guys cool? You guys hanging in there? All right. Two claps. Very encouraging. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. I believe in communication during sex. Do you guys talk during sex? <laughs> I, I didn't mean to ask so much of you tonight. <laughs> How big is your dick? This is it. You just go all the way in. Uh, all right. I'll just, <laughs> Jesus, not that big. See, that's what happened. <laughs> that's not the response. That you, oh, well, let me tell you. Now, that's the response you want. All right. I believe in communication during sex. You should be able to ask questions like, who are you? How'd you get in this room? And are you really not going to put lube on that strap on? Like, you should be able to ask these questions during sex, right? So, when I was with my girl, she said, or I asked her, very manly question to ask her. I said, Did you finish? Very manly question, it's hard to ask. Did you finish? And she looked at me dead in the eyes and said, Eh. But I wouldn't say it was a waste of my time. Which is a lot how I felt like this set went. So I'm Paul Antonio. Thank you guys. Have a great night.